when I went to China, I tried to get inside the culture. I tried to understand the culture in humble way. So that's uh, for me, um, the great inspiration was uh, Matteo Ricci, Lima Do. I like uh, his idea to go to China, get emerged inside the Chinese culture. That means try to understand, try to learn, try to exchange. I try to represent him in um, emerged in the Chinese culture. That's why I put a character on top. So that means him completely became almost Chinese. I was thinking to use the gold because gold means something precious. And the gold is also is the principal color which they use in the Baroque time in Italy. And that's it was the same time when uh, Matteo Ricci lived. So I thought uh, all these two things were put together and representing something very clean, something very spiritual, something like Italian and, uh, and Chinese together. My first relation with the Chinese art, it was in the 80s when I was still a student at the Academy of Fine Arts and I was very much impressed. So I've been very much influenced on that time and uh, I started to learn more and more about Chinese art. The most interesting period for me is the uh, Tang Dynasty, which is a very fascinating and it's a very, um, had a highly developed man and uh, makes me also remind uh, like uh, the Quattrocento in Italy and the Renaissance. So where they had a, a wonderful period and a wonderful sculpture and art. So I've been learning about that a lot and the terracotta, which they made a wonderful piece and the porcelain. And that is very, very fascinating. Inside, I'm deeply Italian because I grew up in Italy. I was born in Italy. But uh, I try to put together my Italian side and my experience in China. So I try to merge all these two things in one. And I try to put all this experience, all this feeling, in my work. So I was very attracted by the calligraphy because I think it's a very sophisticated uh, kind of art and that's why I put on my sculpture because uh, I think a calligraphy in China, Chinese calligraphy, the character represent much the, the Chinese culture. For me there are two things. One is the meaning and the second part is the beauty, aesthetical beauty, how the character is moving for me. This is also very important. That's what is for me it was fascinating in the beginning, the beauty of the character. Um, I was less focused on the, on, the, on the meaning, but more on the beauty as an artist. I try to, to learn the traditional skill of, in China and try to put it in a contemporary way. I've been always very interested in changing and uh, experimenting materials. So when I was in Italy, Always I've been trying with the traditional Italian materials, which are marble, bronze, ceramic, or wood. But once I get to China, I didn't really con want to continue with this, the same material. And I thought I want to find some material which represented the Chinese culture. And, and I started to think, what is better than porcelain? I mean, when you say China, you say porcelain. I started to make my own production in Jin De Jin in Jiangxi and uh, during the process, during the work, um, many times I failed. So many times in my work it, it breaks or it was not perfect as I want and it completely damaged and obviously I have to throw away and start it again, especially when I was making the children in porcelain, which is an extremely difficult um, shape for the porcelain. I mean, it would be not that difficult to make in ceramic, but in porcelain it's extremely complicated. So, and unfortunately, many of the sculptures, they, they, they were broken, but still I didn't give up and I was continue to make my own uh, idea and uh, to develop this uh, sculpture and um, finally I was successful. When I'm traveling, usually it's where I am 
will affect my work. So right now I'm living in New York and New York uh, is a global city and this, there is a global influence on my work. And so it will be more international, more global. There is not, will be not anymore this strong elements of a culture. But uh, China is a country where I live the longest after my country, Italy. So always is very important for me. If there is any chance to have any type of collaboration with Chinese or with China, I'm always very open because China for me is, uh, is my second country.